Welcome back. In this video, I will solve the problem by using a logarithmic transformation. First, we will know what is logarithmic transformation. Logarithmic transformation is a non-linear image processing technique that enhances the visibility of details in images. It's used to map a range of low input pixel values to broader range of output values. Logarithmic transformation applies a logarithmic function to each pixel values in an image. The given input matrix is in the form of 3 cross 3 matrix. Determine the output image that is g of m comma n using the logarithmic transformation. The function g of m comma n which is equal to ceiling of c into log of 1 plus f of m comma n to the base 10. In this case, we will take c is equal to 1 and c is equal to l divided by log of 1 plus l to the base 10. We know the logarithmic transformation function that is g of m comma n. In this equation, we will replace c by 1 that is c is equal to 1. So, the g of m comma n which is equal to log of 10 1 plus f of m comma n. Now we will applying the transformation to the input image. We will get g of 1 comma 1 which is equal to log of 1 plus f of 1 comma 1 to the base 10. Here m will become 1, n will become 1. m will represent the row and n will represent the column. Here 1 comma 1 means first row, first column. This will become 128. Once you replace f of 1 comma 1 with 128, it will become log of 1 plus 128 to the base 10, which is equal to log of 129 to the base 10, which is equal to 2.11. This is equal to 3. Similarly, for the first row, second column, that is g of 1 comma 2, which is equal to log of 1 plus f of 1 comma 2 to the base 10. Here we know the value of f of 1 comma 2, that is 212. Once you put that value here, it will become log of 1 plus 212 to the base 10. 1 plus 212, which is equal to 213. So, log of 213 to the base 10 which is equal to 2.328 which is equal to 3. Similarly, for the first row third column that is g of 1 comma 3 which is equal to log of 1 plus f of 1 comma 3 to the base 10. f of 1 comma 3 which is equal to 255. So, log of 1 plus 255 to the base 10 which is equal to log of 256 to the base 10 which is equal to 2.408 which is equal to 3. Similarly, we will find the remaining values with respect to first row, first column, second column and third column and uh, with the third row with respect to first column, second column and third column. Once you find the remaining values, we will get g of m comma n as this one. Here f of 1 comma 1 that is First row, first column is 128 and g of 1 comma 1 will become 3 which is represented here. And uh, f of 1 comma 2 is 212 and g of 1 comma 2 will become 3. This is represented here. And for uh, f of 1 comma 3 which is equal to 255, g of 1 comma 3 is 3 which is represented here. Similarly, we will put remaining values here. This is the logarithmic transformation of the given input image for the value c is equal to 1. Similarly, we will find the logarithmic transformation that is g of m comma n for the value of c which is equal to l divided by log of 1 plus l to the base 10. Now the question is what is the value of l? l is nothing but the, the largest number which is present in the given input image. Here the largest number is 255, so the L value become 
255 once you replace l by 255 we will get c is equal to 255 divided by log of 256 to the base 10 which is equal to 106 now the output image can be calculated as g of 1 comma 1 which is equal to this is c value that is 106 into log of 1 plus f of 1 comma 1 to the base 10 f of 1 comma 1 which is equal to 128 because the first row first column value is 128 so 1 plus 128 which is equal to 129 so 106 into log of 129 to the base 10 which is equal to 224 similarly for the first row second column that is g of 1 comma 2 which is equal to 106 into log of 1 plus f of 1 comma 2 to the base 10 f of 1 comma 2 which is equal to 212 212 plus 1 which is equal to 213 and once you simplify this equation we will get g of 1 comma 2 which is equal to 247 similarly we will find the value for first row third column that is g of 1 comma 3 which is equal to 106 into log of 1 plus f of 1 comma 3 to the base 10 f of 1 comma 3 which is equal to 255 once you put 255 here 255 plus 1 which is equal to 256 then 106 into log of 256 to the base 10 which is equal to 256 similarly we will find the remaining values for the second row with respect to first column second column and third column and for the third row with respect to first column second column and third row column once you find the remaining values then the logarithmic transformation for the given matrix for the c value l divided by log of 1 plus l to the base 10 is given as like this this is a transformed logarithmic function here f of 1 comma 1 that is 128 but g of 1 comma 1 which is equal to 224 which is represented here and f of 1 comma 2 is 212 and g of 1 comma 2 is 247 which is represented here similarly f of 1 comma 3 is represented as 255 and g of 1 comma 3 is represented as 256 which is represented here similarly we will put the remaining values here this is how we can calculate the logarithmic transformation for the given input image. I hope the concept of logarithmic transformation is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.